Hello and welcome back to Tech Tip Tuesday. This Tuesday we are going to take a look at how to create a revised purchase order. From your Job Boss Explorer, you will access material control just like you would with creating any other purchase order. From there, we'll go into purchasing. And typically, the first thing that I would tell you to do is hit the auto number button. But since we're sending a revised purchase order, we already have this purchase order created. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to hit the F12 key on my keyboard to bring your Job Boss Explorer from the left to the very top of your screen here. And now I'm going to enter in that PO that I already sent out. So I've sent this PO out to my customer already, I'm sorry, my vendor already, and I realized that I had forgot to add a material on there. So I need to send a revised copy. Um, I am both going to add a material as well as add a quantity for one of the materials that I've already requested from them in the purchase order. So I need to select my details tab, which is where I've already added my two materials that I'll be buying from that vendor. Um, I want to buy some additional materials to inventory, so I'm going to use my Add button here, and I'm going to add a PO line. From there, I'm going to key in whatever the material ID is that I want to order. So I'm going to key in 14 NOM, which is our lock washer. I am going to buy it to inventory, so I'll leave my job field blank here, and we want to buy a thousand of these. Of course, it came over at a unit cost. Um, and I do have the ability to change that if I know that the cost has changed from my vendor. If not, I'm going to leave it at that cost. And if there's cost that has changed, we would then uh, handle that on the back end when we do our invoicing. Um, so now we've added a lock washer to this, uh, this PO. And I do want to add a quantity of the nut clinch as well. So I'm going to right click, add line, and add a quantity line. And I'm going to add a quantity line for inventory as well. And we want to buy an additional 500 of these for inventory. Um, so now I've updated this to 500. And what I would tell you to do now for your revised PO is you're going to select the line item. And this is going to be our first revision. So I'm going to call this revision 0001. So if you notice, I came down to the revision field here at the very bottom of my screen and I typed in up to a four digit number here. And this is what's gonna tell the system that this is a revised PL. From there, I always tell everyone to take it one step further and put a note in the system here and tell your vendor what has been changed. So added a quantity of 500 from original PL. Okay, and then I'm going to hit close. And then again, I have a line item specific change that's been made. So I'm going to select the other line item. This is my revision 0002 or whatever you want it to be. This is a four digit character. Um, I'm going to put a comment in here, added material 14 or added material lock washer, whatever you want it to say to PL quantity. 1000. Now they will be able to see the quantity, but I'm just over communicating so that there's no issues. Um, so from here, I'm going to hit the close button and I want to make sure that I hit save. Now the cool thing is, is now when I print this purchase order, I'm just going to quick print it right here. We are going to see once I um, expand this screen here, we're going to see in the upper right hand corner, it says revised right here. So when I send this over to my vendor, they're going to see where it says revised. And if you scroll down or if they look down further in the PO, they're going to see the line revision 001, as well as our note added a quantity of 500 from the original PO. The next one down is line revision 0002. And again, we have a note that is exactly what uh, the change was. So um, really what this should do is eliminate any communication flaws between you and your vendor when it comes to ordering your materials. So when you send a revised PO, you don't have to create a brand new PO. You can use the same PO number. Just send a revised copy. That's all I've got for you this Tuesday. Thank you again for tuning in, and we will catch you again in a few weeks.